said. How could you how could you share your personal experience on selecting, making sure you <laughs> Oh, here, we go. How's here we go. How, how, how long you, you guys got? I, I try not to inject my personal experience as much as possible because uh-huh. when you speak to anybody in the sphere, particularly uh-huh. females, mm-hmm. they can't really respond to you in any logical fashion without filtering it through their own mm-hmm. personal experiences. That's why you get some of the responses that you have. Well, mm-hmm. as a woman, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then here it is. You know, yeah. you get this very fine filtered. You get the solipsistic but, answer. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I will say this. I have a very, very good marriage that's very seamless as far as effort. I've been married for 30 years. Uh, And I was married once before, too. Uh I was married for four uh, prior to that. But, um, and a a slew of girlfriends in between. But um, it's been good. And it's good because she was happy to take my name. I had a marriage that I wrote the marriage vows to. And she agreed to them. So I had that deference right up front Mm -hmm. and our goal was to raise a family. Mm -hmm. And, but, but here's the thing before we even started down that path, the goal was to make our relationship as good as possible because those children would not always be there as a crutch or to to hide behind in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Too many people do that. Mm -hmm. And women have a tendency to place their children ahead of everything else. Mm -hmm. And then when the children grow up, they look across the table at that man and say, I want who, another one. Who the or, hell are you? Yeah, I don't yeah. even know you. Mm-hmm. And I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. Bad news. That means she's placed those children far above him yeah. yep. and would 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 see him die rather than do anything else. Well, I'll tell you, you a lot of the I'm going to tell you stick the around truth. through the marriage so they don't you get want, the divorce and you want, come up statistic. You want yeah. a good marriage and you want to be able to cast a legacy into the future? It's you and her. Mm-hmm. And the children, at least in our past, would likely die. But guess what? You would make more. Mm-hmm. Sounds heartless, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But it was you and her against the world right to the end. Mm-hmm. And that's that's where the intent of, you know, lifetime monogamy came out. I personally don't believe that that's how we're built. Mm-hmm. But it does have a success rate that's pretty good for civilization. It keeps the incel population down. You know, if you except have... Now. <laughs> except now. Except <laughs> now. Well, it's on its head right now. Yeah. Is it man's natural state? No, I don't believe it is. But it's one of our ways to cope with it. And create a civilization that does benefit most of its citizens. Mm. But yeah, as far as my story, it's been really good. As many of you may know out there, I'm going to tip my hat again to Aaron Clary, who supported me a tremendous amount. My wife was uh, in a car accident two years ago. Her neck was broken. uh, And she became paralyzed from the the, base of the shoulders down. Mm. And what that means is it's not that she doesn't feel it. It's she has no motor control, but she feels every ounce of the pain mm-hmm. times 10 because of that injury to her spinal cord, mm-hmm. which requires, you know, a lot of care. Yeah. And I'm happy to do it. And Missy's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. Yeah. She's one of my faves. She's my biggest fan. Mm-hmm. And and she agreed to those vows back then, and, and uh, she'd, you know, she'd do it again. And, she, well, you know, some of those things were would seem horrible today, like, I'm going to stay in shape for you. I'm not going to get fat. Uh, I'm going to make you first, <laughs> you know, first in the relationship, first, yeah. in, you know, and what I'm going to do is for the benefit of us, even if it's going to hurt your feelings, you know, mm. and sometimes you have to make decisions like that as a man in a yeah. relationship and she's got to suck it up and support it, which is a funny thing. She yeah. has a story that she would tell you guys. <laughs> she asked her aunt who is married, who is married mm. for over 65 years now. Jeez. How did you do it so long? Because her uncle's kind of grouchy. He goes, well, dear, this was her answer. This is her aunt's answer to my wife. He said, dear, sometimes you just got to learn to suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good advice for someone who's married over 60, yeah. uh, still married to this day. Mm-hmm. You know what? I was thinking I was going to do an episode, like telling like women, like, you know what? You want to know how to solve problems in your marriage? Just suck some dick. No, well, like, I don't think she meant that. But, but like, but no, that that's, I'm certain that's a part of it. Think about it. it right. You know, it's a funny thing, though. In our space, a lot of guys want to be the player with multiple gals and all that. And mm. I think that's great. I really do. I think that's probably a place to strive for. Very few of us can do it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in the long run, it'd be nice to have that good girl home and support you. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And yeah. she's passing your and, and helping you cast yep. that legacy mm-hmm. into the future, right? Yeah. So how do you actually get there? You can screen for the girls up front when you're dating, but what do you do after a year or 18 months? 
when the honeymoon phase is over. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is when you really have to look at it. Yeah. Because at that point, you're going to, you know, see their warts and smell their farts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And can you take it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Depends if they don't eat and, beans or not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you have to have more value than you have liabilities. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. some of those things seem like common sense, but people do not pick up on it because they weren't trained that anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, ask, common sense ain't too common anymore. Yeah. You can you can ask one simple, sense a couple simple questions. Anymore. You know, JP, is do you argue more than three percent of the time? Yeah. If you do, you've sure. got a liability. That's a oh, big yeah. problem. It's a lot of relationships. Not here. That's not good. That's yeah. not right. Yeah. Now, I will say this: we are trained to communicate in a debate style today. Mm-hmm. That's not good. And yeah. it nope. Is, it is, tra- it is shaming language that's being used, which is bad. Both men and women. It's really yeah, not good. Yeah. Okay. But uh, that, that would be a problem. Another, mm-hmm. another value you might not think of is when she's with her friends, is she the influencer mm. or is she the influencer? That's true. This yeah. will bite you in the hiney so bad. Yes, yes, I agree. Women are such social creatures. Mm-hmm. If she's the influence... Let her hang around some single girls being married with some kids about five years old ready to go to school. Mm-hmm. And they're having fun. And she is feeding those kids and dropping them out of school. Look for the fire that's going to be built oh, yeah. if she's the influence. Mm-hmm. Right? So those are just some of the simple ones. I got 25 of them I put out there. But then there's the, you know, the added liabilities. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, um, you know, is she the kind of gal that uh, requires you to be the sentimental one? Mm. It's live basically. Okay. She's saying, he's saying <laughs> is she, she the one with the dick? Tap in on that. Is she the one with the also? dick? <laughs> so, so would that go to the, the the guys we deal with every day? Like, hold on, let me let me call my wife and oh, wife and ask. Let me, to find I gotta out. ask. I ask the little yeah. lady. Yeah. yeah. For, for permission. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. get that all the time. Like, oh, you know, you need this else for your car. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. Oh well. Hold on, let me call the wife and let, let me, me ask her. Let me see if I can get my balls back. That, that's bad news for a relationship in long way. I'm sorry, but it is. Like 90% of our customers do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and there's more. I mean, there, there's way more than that. Does she make her family more important than the family you're creating with her? Mm-hmm. Who goes where on the holidays and why is it important? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to marry her family too, but where does she place that? Yeah, what? very true. Glenn? Here's the Christianity. What does the Bible say about cleaving? Look, you leave. Cleave unto each you, other the, or something? The, one the, flesh? The, right. the man and woman leave their father and mother and cling <laughs> to their wife there and husband. So. And the two become one flesh. So everybody else, they ain't shit. Mm. Anyways, us Vikings have something like that. But, uh, <laughs> no, you guys looking. like cling to all everybody's wives and then you guys have like one big party. No, we just have more than one. <laughs> That's all right. More than one wife. But but hey, you, know, you go, you go conquer another tribe, and then take their wives, and then bring them into the family. <laughs> well, you know, you find something good. <laughs> you got to go home with it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we turned a lot of a lot of folks into you know savages. That's um, true. You know, but uh, yeah, there's there's more of them out there too, just like that. I mean, you have to ask a question like this too. This is the root of a lot of problems in relationships. Mm-hmm. What about the money? Is she going to be okay having one joint account and you two keeping separate accounts? Nowadays, no. No, no, this is an important deal because here's the thing. She's a grown adult. Mm-hmm. Whether she's working or not, she needs to know how to handle money, but she should not handle all of your money. You are the leader. You should handle the vast majority, if mm-hmm. not 80, 90%. Mm-hmm. Straight up, you know, and you should have that and you should take care of it. Mm-hmm. You let her do it all. You just gave your authority as a masculine man over to her. You I look at it like that, like, what, what was, what's the purpose of you being in the house if she can do everything? Uh-huh. How many guys turn it right over to her? A lot of all guys of do. A lot of guys just <laughs> Damn near all of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, got a joint account. Here's all my money. And then, okay, she's paycheck. Pays here you go. Yeah. Like, and they get an allowance for the week or yeah, month. Like she, and they determine their allowance. Yeah. Like, we got all access yeah. to this money. so I'm You shouldn't need more than this for this Yeah, week like, you know what? Yeah. You just need gas and lunch. Here mm-hmm. you go. Like, <laughs> yeah. Most guys that get married really quickly don't even know how to pass a fitness test or a couple mm-hmm. test anymore. And and that's unfortunate as well because really that's what keeps attraction alive because they're going to test you forever. Yeah. And and that's unfortunate. So that's you, you definitely got to count. You know, if, if you guys are interested in more liabilities that you can look up, you can look up on my YouTube channel. It's a 20-minute video on it. It's pretty simple stuff, but most people don't ask those questions. Those are the questions that you 
really have to ask after the red flags. We all know the red flags, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Full body yeah. tattoos, mm-hmm. the, uh, you know, the whole thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, 304 passed, all that sort of <laughs> thing, you know. What, but when you get past that, there's actually things that count and things that, are, that stand against you that are embedded into a woman, uh, woman's behavior. Now, here's the beauty of it. If she's really into you, and she's your ride or die chick, and you've done your conditioning properly in that courtship phase, mm-hmm. she's going to want to be with you. She'll change her religion for you. She'll change her country yeah. for you. And so she will drop those liabilities. And you know what she gets out of it? The world. She gets fulfillment. Yeah, fulfillment. Also. <laughs> Is that the more a woman does for a man, the more a woman gets. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. Okay, that's like kind of in a nutshell about the long-term relationship. And that's where the real game is at. Right? Let's talk about the 